Hello, good afternoon, good evening and good morning, depending on where you are in the world. Big Secu here with another Homebrew Wednesday update. Unfortunately, it's nothing exciting this week. I'm um, eventually got around to bottling this IPA here. You hear that? <laughs> I can play the drums on it, right? Yeah, so anyway, that's the India Pale Ale I've done. The two kit one, 3.6%, and just getting around to bottling it just now. Had a few things on recently. Haven't done any brewing, I'm afraid. I'm going to get around to doing that apple wine spicy cider thing. The wife now wants me to brew uh, rhubarb. Rhubarb spiced si cider. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not a big fan of rhubarb myself, but I can give that a bash, I suppose. So this IPA I've done, I'll show you this, look. Here's the label that I did. You see that? Now, you'll see at the top there, see here? Now, you, you might recognise this. This is the front cover of the recent smash hit bestseller, Dirty Book, Fifty Shades of Grey. Now, there, see that guy there? That's my father-in-law, George. Hello Dad, how's it going? So, there he is, and in Scotland, don't know if it applies anywhere else, if your name's George, then your nickname is Dude. D-O-double-D. -D. Now, old George there. Well, George is uh, entering the twilight of his life. He's in his 70s now, and he got a Kindle. Um, we gave him a, a £20 Amazon voucher for his birthday one, well, not long ago. And uh, my wife and the rest of my family were highly amused to find that uh, one of the books that he downloaded, without even realising what it was, or that it was dirty and had lots of pornographic scenes and erotic this, that and the next thing in it, he downloaded both of the first books of Fifty Shades of Grey, and he's read them both. <laughs> so, and he'd done this before it seemed to be like all over the news and stuff. So, when my wife said to her mum, Oh, have you heard about this book, Fifty Shades of Grey? George pipes up, What, the dirty one? I've read that, and the one after it. So now, the father in law, his nickname is. Porno dude. And there he is. And look, there's a hot bit of stuff on there. So I've called it 50 Shades of Porno Dude India Pale Ale. 3.6%. There you are. Good, eh? So I've got nine of those. I'm not sure exactly how many bottles I'm going to get out of that. But we'll have to see. Unfortunately, I don't know about you guys, anyone who does home brewing, who's watching this, um, especially beer, you will know, and especially if you recycle your bottles, it can be such a nightmare, that's kind of the worst bit of brewing beer is having to bottle it, because, I mean look at this, so here's a big bin bag, full of old bottles, there's an old bottle with an old label on it. And over here, you'll see we've got bottles ready to go into the sink. So these bottles are in the sink, they're not sterilising, they're just being washed or rinsed out to get all the old yeast and stuff, old beer residue out of them, and to get previous labels off as well. So at the minute these ones are soaking, I'll have to rinse these off, take them all out, put them over here, take these ones, put them in, do exactly the same, take them out, rinse them off, put them over here, then give the sink a wipe down, put a sterilising solution into the sink. What I usually do is I'll fill up an individual bottle, I'll maybe put about an inch and a half of sterilising fluid in the bottom, put my finger on the top, give it a good shake so it's getting coated all the way around inside, and then I'll put it down and just leave it. And the sterilizer that I use, um, being a, a, a denture cleanser, 
probably shown you this before. There it is there. It's a, an effervescent three minute express denture cleanser. Oh look. Kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Um, so like an FV, like in an, you know, in an FV, most people don't fill the entire FV full of sterilizing fluid. They'll just put a bit in the bottom and then give it a good shake around. So I apply the same principle, really, to my bottles, because I want to get them sterilized as quickly as possible. But there's minimum hassle. And as I was saying before, <laughs> bottling it takes ages. For me, if I'm recycling 35, 40 bottles, I've got to wash them out, rinse them out, sterilize them, rinse them, put a, either a carbonation drop or a teaspoon of sugar in each one, then I've got to do all that before I even bottle a bloody beer. Then I've got to sit and put beer in every one of them. Um, it, it could be lengthy an operation. It could take me, it could take me two and a half, three hours. Easy. That's why I'm, it's probably my least favourite bit. Anyway, I've got a Comrade Gori's Utopia, 5.9% to help me out. I suspect I actually forgot to put a carbonation drop in this one because it doesn't taste very carbonated, but still nice. Still a young, young beer that, but it's uh, very good, very tasty. I promise. I promise I'll do a, a brew video. I'm, I'm, I'm very aware that I haven't done any real brewing videos recently. Um, the last one I think was the Raisin Beer one and that is by the way in my loft conditioning just now. Um, starting to get a bit of carbonation on it but it was really clear when it was bottled so not a lot of yeast left in there to eat the sugar but it's going to take a while but um, hopefully maybe by the end of this month I should be ready for a, a taste test and we'll do the second part of the video. Cooter, okay? Right, see you next week guys. Cheers.